We're down at the Melbourne Sports Centre Lakeside here with AFLW superstar Georgie Parker. Ready for challenge number two? Yes, born ready. All right, you smacked me in the hockey challenge, but that was your domain. So we've come down here to the 100 metre athletics track and we're sprinting. Mm -hmm. Have you run since you retired? No, I haven't. I'm feeling haven't. confident then, ready to go. I have thought about it though, and I'm flipping excited because there's a catch. We're running in these. Georgie looks relaxed, doesn't she? It's just one of those great moments in sport. Two wonderful athletes going head to head. And look at Coons, he's been really working up for this. No Brownlow medal, gee, haven't seen him without that for a long time. Channeling Usain Bolt, hasn't run for a couple of years, but he's been wearing flippers all week, vacuuming, mowing the lawns, even taking the kids to school. Georgie, she's done it all, Rio Olympian. Oh, that's not too good, Adam. Um, AFLW player, not sure about the goals, not sure about the flippers, not sure about anything. But we're about to go, Georgie leads 1-0. On the line here. Oh, Ready away. away. Georgie got a better start than Cooney. <laughs> leads early. Adam's going to have to lift. It's Parker in front. Georgie just leads. Adam goes up to it halfway. It's going to be close. Cooney just in front. He's getting ragged. Georgie's trying to lift. Cooney holding, holding, holding. Parker coming. Oh, Cooney. We're going to a third. We wanted it. The broadcast wanted it. The network on the whole wanted it. And we're going to get it. Can't wait for the grand final. Well done, Georgie. Good work there. Burns, I was pretty close. Yeah, you lost by about half a flipper. Yeah, yeah, good one. Good game. Yeah. <laughs> so we're one all now. So obviously we're going to have the decider. Yep. Give me six months for my hammies to recover. Yep. Your choice. Yeah, perfect. All right, let's do this. Tiebreaker. See you soon.